Hey, did you just click on today's video? Well, thank you very much. And you clicked on a good one because today on Beyond the Ranch, we are gonna go take a look at a house and I'm gonna give you a little tour of my brand new office. Stick around. <laughs> Alrighty guys, as you know, life has changed completely for me. Uh, the whole thing has been turned upside down and now I'm doing something completely different here on Beyond the Ranch. We're exploring life. And today I get a chance to kind of take you around a little bit and show you what I've been doing. It's been different than ranching, but somewhat the same. So we are down here in the basement of CBH Co-op's offices in Gillette, Wyoming. CBH Co-op is a co-op that has a cooperative, Farmers Union Co-op kind of deal. Um, they've got uh, seven different gas stations. We've got bulk fuel, we've got propane, we've got feed stores. And that's where it kind of just leads right up my alley is once we're taking care of animals and looking at agriculture and not so much taking care of animals now, but taking care of other farmers and ranchers and their needs in our community. So I have a really cool opportunity here to, uh, to market this company as well as get behind some really good, what can I say? Get behind some really good causes because this company really likes to give back to the community. So we get to sponsor rodeos. We get to sponsor branding events, all kinds of cool stuff that I want to be able to bring you guys along for. Now, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit today because I don't have a decent camera right now. I'm actually using my phone, which is why it's probably just a little bit bumpy. But let's start down here in the basement. We call it the dungeon, and this is where my office is at. Alrighty guys, because I uh, don't have my regular camera, obviously audio, it might be a little weird and it's probably gonna be a little shaky. So like I said, bear with me. So this is my office. Uh, it is pretty good sized actually. You might recognize this guy. This actually hung uh, behind us in the live stream studio right here on Beyond the Ranch. I thought it was kinda uh, right along the same lines to be able to bring it in here. I do have a door, which is beautiful, and a couple windows, which I'm not too sure about. Uh, and then my desk is over here. And this is where I handle the sales and marketing side of this company. And it's, uh, it's a little different, but uh, I'm definitely kind of slipping into that role slowly but surely. I think one of the most interesting parts about it is the fact that sales and marketing is what we were doing for our Wyoming life and what Erin is continuing to do. So if you are able to, please head on over to her channel, watch the videos, you're supporting the kids, you're supporting her, and it really does make me feel good that you guys can do that. So uh, this is my office. There's not a whole lot to it. I've got a few things up on the wall, a couple pictures that came from Hobby Lobby. The kids helped me pick out. That one's kind of cool with an old truck. Um, I've got a radio recording little studio thing here. This is so that I can record radio commercials, which is kind of fun. Haven't done that for a few years. And uh, now I can do it with this company. I also have our old live stream camera over here. Uh, which I can use to record anything from the CEO of the company. If he wants to address shareholders or something like that, we can all do that right there. I also got some hats back here. And if anybody would like a hat, all you have to do is comment down below. I'm going to pick one winner uh, out of the comments to receive a true, authentic CBH co-op hat. So like I mentioned earlier, we're down here in the basement, and I actually work with... Uh, three or four other people down here. Uh, that's uh, Hannah's desk, Carla's desk, Sharon's desk over there. And then one other office is actually uh, used by a gal named Don. Uh, they are all kind of, oh, and then I forgot Brad's office is over here. Brad's in charge of uh, fuel for the state of Wyoming. So kind of a cool place to be, uh, uh, you know, the girls that are down here with me are great to work with. Brad is great to work with. I've been here for a little bit over a month, so it's been kind of cool to be back in this environment. I couldn't say I was actually, it's getting dark. I didn't think I was actually gonna be back in this environment, you know, boardrooms, high back chairs. By the way, if you're sitting in here during a board meeting, don't nod off. I learned that like the second day I was here. Uh, but it gets warm in here and you have to listen to stuff that might not be the most exciting thing in the world. But it is definitely cool for me to be able to help other farmers and ranchers. Got dark all of a sudden again. Help other farmers and ranchers as they 
continue to do what I'm not able to do anymore, but I can help them move forward. So uh, whether it's through fuel, propane, animal health, all that kind of stuff we handle. In fact, I'm gonna take you upstairs because we are in the basement of one of our stores. Uh, this is the Gillette Country Store. And like I mentioned, we've got six more of these uh, scattered through Wyoming and South Dakota. So we're gonna go upstairs, take a really quick look around, probably won't talk too much. I'll just kind of show you what we've got because I'm sure there's customers up there wandering around. They're all gonna think I'm crazy. But uh, then we're gonna jump in the car and we are gonna go take a look at a house. Now I couldn't get a uh, hold of the realtor to actually go inside, but I've got the Zillow listing um, that uh, that we can take a look at. We'll take a look at the outside of the house. It's one that I'm actually really hoping for um, if I can get financing figured out. So one last thing before we leave the basement down here, I wanna show you, and that is this door. I'm not exactly sure why I've never worked somewhere that had a vault door. Uh, I don't know the combination, but it don't open. But it's kind of cool to have a basically a safe in our office. Don't nobody get some crazy idea thinking you're going to come down here and crack this thing either because, well, you'll, you'll just get me in trouble. It's Friday night. Uh, time for me to get out of here. And... Uh, it's been a week. It's been an interesting week, to say the least, as I move back into this role and being able to do this kind of stuff. Um, a lot of stuff gets thrown at you that you're not exactly used to, but it's kind of cool to, to get back in the flow of things. And like one friend told me, he said, you're going to be good at no matter what you do. That's just how you are. And that's exactly how I have to approach things. Like we said earlier, get busy living or get busy dying. But right now, I'm living. So let's get out of here. I almost forgot my sunglasses. Okay, so we'll be kind of sneaky and quiet through here so we don't get in trouble. Obviously boots, clothing, lots of horse stuff over here, tack, ropes. And we at this store, we actually have a hardware store, which is right back this way, so. All this stuff back here is all hardware. And we have, let's take a look back here. Animal health, livestock, pet supplies, all that kind of good stuff. And it's my job to try to sell it all. Also, we have baby chicks. Back outside, a good look at the gas pumps. Look at the gas prices there. Let's see where we're at. 309, 324, and 381 for diesel. So not too bad. And there's the outside of the store. So I can tell that I'm gonna have to break down and buy another GoPro uh, and a good microphone. But uh, as we're heading out here to the car, we'll get settled in and then we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna drive a little ways. We're gonna talk about how the house search is going. Okay, let's get ready to go. We are heading um, over to take a look at one single house uh, that's been on the market for a while. Now, I've actually had a little bit of bad luck with, with looking at houses and I'm trying to get a few things figured out, but obviously, as you probably know, um, trying to finance a house while you're going through a divorce is a huge pain in the butt. And you have to find brokers that are actually willing to trust you a little bit. And so I'm in the process. I've got a guy uh, here in town that I'm working with that, that we really seem to get along, knows our circumstance, knows us through the channel. So it's actually helping out. Um, I had one house. So here's the thing, three kids, right? So they all, I, I want them all to have their own bedroom, their own space to do what they want to do. And that's been a little difficult. Uh, finding houses that are four bedrooms, that don't cost an arm and a leg uh, is, is a little tricky. So the one that we're going to look at now, uh, oh, the other thing that I have to worry about is school districts. Like I'm trying to find a house that's within the school districts of the kids so that there's busing available. There's multiple elementary schools, there's multiple uh, high schools and junior highs and all that kind of stuff. So 
trying to find a place that's within busing for all three kids. And that's a little tricky too, uh, just trying to find a house that's big enough for all of us and within the right area. It is definitely a pain. I found one place that was a four bedroom. It was a little bit of a, well, I could say a lot of bit of a fixer upper. And uh, unfortunately it was on the market for three days and somebody put an offer on it. So I put a secondary offer on it and nothing's happened. That's just been chilling there. But there is another house that we're gonna go look at today that's actually really close to Mackenzie's school, which would be great, close to Grace and Lincoln's school as well, and within that triangle uh, where Mackenzie's gonna end up going to high school here before long, too long, if you can believe that. So uh, we are gonna hit the road and we're gonna go take a look at a little three bedroom place, but it does have a basement that's unfinished um, that we could actually have a lot of fun with and we could finish that basement, put another bedroom down there and a bathroom and kind of make it work. And my hope is that it stays on the market long enough uh, for me to get my junk figured out and get into it. So let's hit the road. We've got a little bit of a drive. Uh, it's not too bad. Honestly, we've taken much longer drives together in the past, uh, but we are just going to head uh, right across town and uh, take a look at this house. <music> that I actually captured. I was planning on giving you guys a little whirlwind tour of, uh, of Gillette, but the camera fell and then got bumped around. So anyway, <laughs> we're coming up here on this house. Now, one thing that has been really interesting to me through some of this transitional stuff is the fact of how many people have actually reached out to me and you know wanted to do something. Am I on the right road? Yeah, I sure am. Uh, wanted to do something, wanted to uh, work with me, whatever else that might have been, including, you know, county commissioners, city councilmen, um, other folks around town um, that have been interested in bringing um, a portion of Gillette, Campbell County, what we do here, whether it's coal mining or oil field work or whatever, all that kind of stuff, being able to bring that to you. So that, I think that's going to be an addition to the channel that's going to be kind of fun too. Um, we're, I'm basically kind of running with that theme that, you know, you get busy living, you get busy dying, but mostly you just need to explore land. <laughs> I totally screwed that up. You get busy living, you get busy dying, but you just have to explore life beyond the ranch. So this is part of it. This is the house that I'm actually kind of hoping for at this point. Um, I'm going to show you the house. If I get this house, please don't come knocking on the door at eight o'clock at night. Uh, but it's kind of hard to try to hide some of this stuff uh, from you guys. So uh, here we are sitting in the car, taking a look at the house. We're going to get out. We're going to take a look around and see what we can see. So one of the interesting, kind of interesting, vaguely interesting things is that the uh, owner of this house actually recently just moved out. So uh, it is empty now, which means that I could probably close on it pretty darn quick. Um, we can kind of take a look around here. And it looks decent. It does need a little bit of work, but I think that'll be fun for us to do. And while we're here, let's see if we can sneak a look inside one of these windows. Now, I do have some pictures that I can show you guys. Um, yeah, it's empty. You guys can't see anything in there, but it is empty. This is, this is part of the basement um, that is unfinished. The house itself... Decent sized, uh, it, like I said, it's three bedroom, about 1,700 square feet. And um, pretty good looking house. The other nice part is that it has a nice backyard. Um, it's a little bit of a, a ski slope back here, but it's kind of a cool little backyard that maybe we can take a peek into. Cool little retaining wall there. Nice porch off the back. Decent side of the yard for being to get out and play in, as well as the kids. So here's some pictures of the inside, so you can take a look at that and kind of see what you think. And uh, my hope is that maybe sometime next week I'll have an answer of whether my financing is going to work 
and then this will be our new home. I'm hoping, anyway. The sign's still out here. Nobody buy it before I get a chance to. Well, guys, I'm uh, actually officially done with work for today. Uh, like I said, I think I told you it was Friday, so I've got the weekend to, uh, to get a few things done. Uh, I am still in the Airbnb on the ranch. I am still helping out on the ranch whenever I can and whenever I'm needed. And I think that that's pretty cool uh, to be able to do that, still go out and feed the cows and do that kind of stuff. At least until I end up in town. And then that's going to be the, the kind of radical change for me, 15 years out on the ranch, um, moving into town, having neighbors, all that kind of stuff is going to be definitely a little bit of a trick and, uh, you know, just adjusting to life is, is interesting to say the least. I think that's my new word of the day. Interesting. Um, but again, this is a big thing. We just got to keep moving forward. Um, if you guys would like to reach me, uh, you can still do that. I've set up a new email address. Uh, it is explore life BTR at Gmail. Dot com. So you can send me messages there. Of course, uh, you know, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Um, it's going to be a huge part of being able to afford this house, honestly, to tell you the truth. And, uh, and I'm hoping that, you know, we can, we can build this channel up, that we can keep going and that we can, you know, use this as not only an avenue for myself, but for the kids to have a life. Um, and of course the Art Wyoming Life channel, Erin is still building up, um, you know, be able to support her and the kids there as well. Um, you know, trying to do everything amicably, which makes total sense in this situation and being able to move forward. So that's pretty much it for me today. What am I doing tonight? I don't know. The kids want to go see the new Ghostbusters three, four, five movie. I don't remember which one it is. They want to go see the new Ghostbusters movie. So maybe we'll do that. Um, it's, you know, trying to obviously keep everything as normal as we can for them as well. So while I go home and uh, probably shop for a new camera, <laughs> and I'll get out of here. And uh, yeah, until I see you next time, you know, have a great week. And thanks for joining me as we explore life beyond the ranch. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.